High-speed trains, they've revolutionized the way we travel since the first one hit the rails on October 1st, 1964 in Japan. The Tokaido Shinkansen sped its way between Tokyo and Osaka at 130 miles per hour, and since then high-speed trains have only become faster and more efficient. So in today's video, I'm going to be counting down the top 15 fastest trains in the world. Let's begin. Number 15. Qingdao Sifang Maglev High-Speed Train as technology forges onwards, so does the speed of trains. This maglev high-speed train was developed by CRRC Qingdao Sifang and reaches an unbelievable top speed of 373 miles per hour. The train's able to travel at such an extraordinary speed because it utilizes something called magnetic levitation technology. Furthermore, on top of the train's top speeds, it's also built with the environment in mind. The train was designed to be environmentally friendly and energy efficient, with a focus on reducing its carbon footprint. This high-speed train makes use of lightweight materials too, and the train's equipped with regenerative braking technology. This technology allows the train to recover and reuse the energy that would otherwise be lost during braking. But along with this incredible high speed, the train also has another notable feature, its passenger capacity. This high-speed train can accommodate up to 1,200 passengers. This is significantly faster than most high-speed trains, so more people can get where they're going faster with this extraordinary train. Needless to say, the Qingdao Sifeng Maglev high-speed train is revolutionizing high-speed train travel. Number 14. Shanghai Transrapid the Shanghai Transrapid is aptly named, as it's a high-speed train that rapidly takes passengers from point A to point B. In fact, it takes them so rapidly that the Shanghai Transrapid is one of the fastest passenger trains in the world, with a top speed of 311 miles per hour. The train zips along in Shanghai, China, and it's a maglev train that was developed by Transrapid International. It operates on an elevated track, which reduces friction and allows for its intense speeds. This train's route is between the Longyang Road Station in downtown Shanghai and the Shanghai Pudong International Airport. The trip takes just 7 minutes and 20 seconds, which is much faster than any other mode of transportation like cabs or buses, especially during rush hour when street traffic is in a solid state of gridlock. And because the train runs on electricity, it doesn't emit any pollution, so the train is a popular choice for both travelers who don't want to waste time in traffic and for those who are looking to do their part in reducing their carbon footprint. Furthermore, the Shanghai Transrapid is nice and quiet, so not only does it reduce environmental pollution, but it also reduces the busy city's noise pollution too. Number 13. The CRH-380A Hexi High-Speed Train the Hexi high-speed train travels at a top speed of 236 miles per hour and was developed by China Railway High Speed. This is one of the fastest in the world, and it was introduced in China in 2010. Since that introduction, the Hexi has been a popular choice for passengers because it's not just fast, it also boasts a number of state-of-the-art amenities too. The train is known for its comfortable seating, onboard Wi-Fi, and air conditioning, so passengers on board this thing can stay connected and cool while traveling. But along with its above-average comfort features, it's safety first aboard the Hexi. The train has several advanced safety features, including an automatic train control system. This system ensures the train can only operate within safe limits at all times. The train is also equipped with an emergency braking system that halts the train really quick in case of an emergency, so passengers don't need to worry about an emergency should it arise. The Hexi plays an important role in China's transportation infrastructure, and it's just one of the many high-speed trains in China that help the urban population get where they need to go quickly and safely. Number 12. The Taglo 350 High-Speed Train The Taglo 350 is a high-speed train that was developed by Spanish company Patentes Taglo. It had a name change since its introduction into service. It was originally called the Renfe AVE Class 102. Today, the Taglo 350 isn't just known for its speed, though. It's also known for its efficiency. The train can travel at a max speed of 226 miles an hour, but it also has a very low energy consumption. The train's constructed by lightweight materials that were developed by Taglo, and those materials improve the weight-to-load ratio, as well as reduce wear and tear on the track. So, the Taglo 350 has a reduced energy cost and is very environmentally friendly, too. The train uses wheels that rotate independently, and these wheels are positioned between the cars, which reduces the number of axles in half when compared to a lot of other high-speed trains. This is one of the main features of the Taglo 350, and one of the reasons the train is more energy efficient than its counterparts. The train's been in operation since 2007 and operates on the Madrid Valladolid line as well as the Madrid Barcelona line. Number 11. Deutsche Bahn ICE 4. If this were a list of cool high speed train names, then this next train would top the list. Behold, the Deutsche Bahn ICE 4. 
a high-speed train that operates in Germany. It's the fourth generation of Intercity Express family trains, which is where it gets its name from. Simply known as ICE 4, this train was developed for the German railway company Deutsche Bahn, and it can travel at top speeds of 155 miles per hour. The train is comprised of 12 cars with a maximum capacity of 830 people. It's also pretty accessible, since it has low floor entry and wheelchair accessible restrooms. There are a number of onboard amenities too, including a modern infotainment system, but one of the most interesting features of the ICE 4 is its flexibility. The train was designed to allow for configuration. It can accommodate several different types of travel, like long distance and commuter services, making it a very versatile train. The ICE 4 is also energy efficient, which is in line with Germany's commitment to greenhouse gas reduction goals. So it doesn't just have a cool name, it's also doing its part to help the climate. Number 10. TGV POS France is no stranger to high-speed trains. In fact, they've always been on the forefront when it comes to high-speed rail. So they've held the world record for the world's fastest train for quite a while with the TGV POS. This thing set the world record in 2007 when it clocked in at a speed of 357 miles per hour. It held this record until another train on this list came around and took the title in 2015, Japan's L0 series. But even though the title's been usurped, there's no arguing that the TGV POS is still a force to be reckoned with. The train's operated by the French National Rail Company, and it runs between eastern France, Paris, and southern Germany. Although the train has hit some record-breaking speeds, the train usually travels at a speed of about 200 miles per hour, which is nothing to scoff at. The TGV part of the train's name stands for Grand Vitesse, and when these trains were introduced, they cut the travel times between their destinations in half. They are some of the most widely used trains in the world, partly because of their speed and partly because they cover a lot of ground, making them the preferred choice for European travelers and tourists alike. Number 9. CoRail KTX The CoRail KTX operates at a speed of 217 miles per hour, making it the fastest train in South Korea. The train runs along several lines, including the Honam Line, Seoul to Mokpo, the Gyeongbu Line, Seoul to Busan, and the Jeolla Line, which is Gwangju to Yeosu. With a distinctive nose and sleek design, the CoRail KTX is an easily recognizable train that features spacious legroom for passengers and large windows. The train has 20 cars and upwards of 935 passengers can travel on board. It's got power outlets at each seat and offers onboard catering service with a selection of both Korean and international cuisine. It's widely regarded as having revolutionized transportation in South Korea. In fact, because it has significantly reduced travel times between major urban centers, the trains played a part in the economic boost of several regions. There are different classes of service aboard the KTX, including standard, first class, and a premium service called Prestige. Prestige class comes with a few additional perks, such as wider seats, access to a VIP lounge at some stations, and a built-in massage function within the seats. The CoRail KTX has won several awards, most notably the IF Design Award and the Good Design Award. It's transported more than a billion people since it came into service. In 2020, the train received an upgrade to a newer version called the KTX Elm, which is better braking, faster acceleration, and added passenger comfort features. Number 8. Shinkansen H5 and E5 East Japan Railway Company, or JR East, operates a series of E5 high-speed trains, but two of the fastest are the Shinkansen H5 and E5. Shinkansen H5 speeds its way along the Hokkaido Shinkansen Line located in northern Japan. This train has a maximum speed of 200 miles per hour. The H5 came into service in March 2016 and is designed to withstand any of the harsh environmental conditions thrown its way. It features de-icing equipment and special brakes that can prevent ice and snow from accumulating on the wheels. The train has 10 cars and can welcome 731 passengers aboard. The Shinkansen also features large panoramic windows so passengers can take in the stunning scenery of Hokkaido. It's also racked in a few awards, including the Red Dot Award and the Good Design Award. The E5, on the other hand, zips its way along the Tohoku Shinkansen line. It's got a top speed of 224 miles per hour. The E5 began its commercial operations in March of 2011. The train features a distinctive nose that's designed to reduce air resistance while minimizing loud noises that happen when the trains enter tunnels. Both trains are equipped with comfortable seating and onboard Wi-Fi, as well as a number of safety features, like automatic train control systems and emergency braking. And like many of today's modern high-speed trains, both the Shinkansen H5 and the Shinkansen E5 are designed with the environment in mind. They are both energy efficient. Number 7. The Harmony CRH380A This high-speed train allows passengers unparalleled views of the scenery with its unique VIP sightseeing zone. This zone is located close to the front of the train, and it's just one of this high-speed train's many perks. 
Along with the dedicated sightseeing zone, the Harmony CRH380A has a dining car called the Bistro and has a deluxe six-seat compartment. Every seat on this train has a power port, a reading lamp, and an electronic display, so passengers can travel comfortably between visits to the sightseeing zone. The train began operations on September 30, 2010, and it serves quite a few high-speed railway lines. It can take passengers from Beijing to Shanghai, from Wuhan to Guangzhou, and from Shanghai to Hongzhou, just to name a few. The train has a cruising speed of about 217 miles per hour, but it can go as fast as 236, and during initial tests, the train hit a record speed of 258.5 miles per hour, which made it the second fastest operating train in service at the time. It's manufactured by CRS Qingdao Sifang Locomotive and Rolling Stock Company, and is a very popular choice for travelers in China. Number 6. The Freccia Rossa Also known as the Red Arrow, the Freccia Rossa is one of Italy's fastest high-speed trains. The train was first introduced in 2009, and the train can travel at top speeds of 245 miles per hour, although its service speed is closer to 190 miles per hour. Freccia Rossa trains are operated by Trenitalia, and on an average day, these trains make more than 120 connections throughout Italy. For those looking to travel from Rome to Milan, there are 28 non-stop trains. The trip will take you less than three hours. But along with the train's high speeds, these fast trains are also known for their luxury. All these trains have cafe cars, where passengers can revel in a wide selection of food and beverages. They also feature air conditioning for those hot Italian summer days, as well as free Wi-Fi, which is a must in today's internet-dependent world. And for an even more glamorous way to get across Italy, passengers can buy a ticket on the Freccia Rossa 1000. These trains will have you traveling in style with ergonomic seats, wide corridors, soundproofing, LED lighting, and dedicated seat service. This luxurious line of trains entered service in 2015 and has a passenger capacity of 457. There are only 10 seats on the entire train reserved for executive class, so you best believe those seats come with a pretty hefty price tag. Number 5. Fuxing Hao CR400 AF and BF China's invested a lot of time and money into their high-speed train infrastructure, which makes sense since high-speed trains are one of the most efficient ways to get around. The Fuxing Hao CR400 AF BF is a train from the line of Fuxing trains and was developed by the China Railway Corporation. The train has a sleek aerodynamic design, which works to reduce air resistance. It also has state-of-the-art train-to-ground communication system, which allows for real-time monitoring of the train's performance and safety. This train is able to accommodate 556 passengers at a time, all of whom can indulge in the train's many creature comforts, like sophisticated entertainment systems and advanced seating. The train offers both business class and first class tickets, and the train operates at a speed of 249 miles an hour. Both the AF and BF variants are similar in speed, length, and comfort, but if you're wondering which came first, the AF or the BF, well, that would be a tie since they were both introduced in 2016. In any case, since their introduction, both trains have welcomed countless passengers on board and have contributed to the ease of travel in one of the world's most densely populated countries. Number 4. Siemens Valaro Family the Siemens Valaro trains are comprised of an entire family of high-speed trains, all built by Siemens, hence the name. The Siemens Valaro trains are all electric multiple-unit trains, and they're a common sight in Europe, since they're widely used in France, Russia, Turkey, the United Kingdom, the Netherlands, and Belgium. And it's no wonder the trains are so widely used, since they travel at speeds between 180 and 283 miles per hour, depending on the train variant. With the Valaro family, there are five different members, Valaro RUS, Valaro D, Valaro E, Valaro CRH3C, and Valaro E320. The different trains operate in different countries. For example, the Valaro D runs in Germany, the Valaro RUS operates in Russia, and the Valaro E320 connects London with Paris and Brussels. And although the variants have some marked differences in speed and passenger accommodation, they all feature advanced technology in noise reduction, aerodynamic profiling, and energy management. In the future, these trains might add a new family member called the Valaro Novo, which aims for 30% in energy savings. The Novo has been in testing stages since 2018, and this concept train focuses on the possibilities of rail travel, not on current problems. The train's expected to start service in the very near future, and when it does, its company claims it will disrupt high-speed trains as we know them, although whether or not that's true and to what extent still remains to be seen. In any case, the Valaro train family is easily one of the most widely used, one of the fastest, and one of the most significant sets of trains currently in existence. Number 3. Hemu 430X High-Speed Train 
the Hemu 430X high-speed train first took the rails in 2010 in South Korea. It's been clocked at a top speed of 267 miles per hour and is 484 feet long. Hemu stands for High Speed Electric Multiple Units, and the trains have six cars, each made of aluminum. The cars are 12 feet wide and 10 feet tall, and each train can welcome a maximum of 381 passengers on board. It was developed by the Korea Railroad Research Institute, otherwise known as KRRI, alongside the South Korean train manufacturer Hyundai Rotem. The train was designed with speed in mind, and since its introduction, it's remained one of the fastest trains around. It uses tilting technology, which means the train's able to tilt up to 8 degrees in either direction. This allows this fast train to take corners and curves at higher speeds than other trains without causing the least bit of discomfort to passengers. The train also features regenerative braking technology, so when the train brakes, it can convert that energy, store it, and use it later. The school train technology translates into a reduction in the amount of energy the train needs to power it, thereby reducing its overall carbon footprint. The only downside to this fast train is the cost. Because the train showcases some pretty advanced technology, it's expensive to manufacture. However, given the train's speed and efficiency, the country continues to invest in it, because its benefits, both current and potential, outweigh the costs. The Hemu train speaks to the future of train travel, as train designers and manufacturers look to the long-term future of high-speed trains and ways to produce trains that are both energy efficient and fast. Number 2. The AGV Train Family Italy is known for a lot of things – wine, pasta, architecture, and art – but unbeknownst to some, it also has some of the fastest trains on the planet. The AGV trains are high-speed trains that run in Italy. The trains were developed by the French company Alstom, and they are known for their comfort, their efficiency, and of course, their speed. The trains can reach a top speed of 223 miles per hour, making them not just some of the fastest in Italy, but also the world. The train sets have elevated coaches and 462 seats, and their distributed power and suspension system eliminates most of the vibration and noise produced between the wheel and rail, so they're quiet and comfortable. But their main advantage stems from their advanced performance, where they check all the boxes for reduced power consumption, onboard comfort and space, and safety and maintenance. The trains are constructed from recyclable materials, and they're designed to reduce CO2 emissions too, so they're also environmentally friendly. Furthermore, though, the AGV trains have a distributed power system. Under the entire train, whereas other trains have the power concentrated in dedicated locomotives located at the front and back, this allows the AVG trains to eliminate locomotives so they can use the space to accommodate more passengers. This increases their overall passenger capacity by 20%, and they can choose from four classes of service while on board the fast AVG trains. The lowest class is the Smart class, which is the most affordable. Next is Comfort Class, which is a blend between Smart and the Prima. For those that want to travel in a bit more style, the Prima Class has increased comfort and a special welcome service. And finally, if money's no object, then the passengers can spring for the Executive Club, which boasts at-seat service throughout the ride. And all passengers can partake in the train's interactive portal called Italo Live, which has ebooks, movies, music, and online games to while away the hours. So, the AVG trains aren't just fast, they're truly designed with passenger comfort in mind and offer up a really great way to travel in Italy. Number 1. The L0 Series Maglev The crown for the fastest train in commercial service goes to the L0 Series Maglev in Japan. The train was developed for the Central Japan Railway Company, or the JR Central for short, and boasts a top speed of 375 miles per hour. Like most of the fastest trains in the world, this series maglev uses magnetic levitation technology. This not only allows the train to travel at extraordinary speeds, but it also allows for a really smooth ride. The train travels on its own dedicated track, and if the speed of this train has you reaching for your wallet to buy a ticket, sorry, you'll have to wait. The train is not currently taking passengers, as it's currently only operating commercially. When it does open up to passengers, though, it will have an operational speed of 314 miles per hour, which means that it will get from Tokyo to Nagoya, a 179-mile journey, in just 40 minutes. That's about 50% faster than the current Tokaido Shinkansen line. However, the proposed route doesn't stop there, because the original goal of the trains was to cut down the travel time between Tokyo to Osaka to under an hour. So eventually, the trains will also travel from Tokyo to Osaka, and when they do, they'll be able to do it in just 60 seconds minutes. The expected operational date, though, for travel between Tokyo and Osaka isn't until 2045. A lot of the line will be underground, with more than 140 miles of tunnels, but the route will include stops in Shinagawa, Sagamihara, Kofu, and Nakasugawa. 
Currently, there are 14 pre-production L0 series maglevs being built, and they're expected to welcome passengers on board in 2027. The train will be 16 carriages and will be able to hold upwards of 1,000 passengers. The trains are still being manufactured by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries and will have a white and blue exterior. The trains will run on the highly anticipated Chuoshin Kansen line, which is expected to cost an estimated $55 billion to construct. And while that might sound like a pretty hefty price tag, can you really put a price on someone's time? The L0 series maglev will literally revolutionize travel in Japan with a currently unprecedented speed, which is why this high-speed train has traveled its way to the top spot on this list of the top 15 fastest trains, updated for 2023. I'll see you next time. Watch our Vehicles playlist for more top 15 videos about amazing vehicles. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best vehicle videos. The Top 5 Show has launched thank you to our channel members.